interaction uh, so everything that uh, i was thinking in the interview about solving the questions i was uh, continuously nice and um, they wanted they made us comfortable they did not like and they wanted us to like not feel the pressure and actually like relax so that we could like perform our best so yeah like i did interview bit and i solved a lot of questions Welcome to ICT Business Podcast Series. Today we are Ms. Sarkita Mulya as our guest. She is a third year undergraduate of Computer Science and Engineering at IIT Kharagpur, and she has received an internship offer from Google, Microsoft, and Amazon Server Software Development Intern. And she also got certificate for Keyshot, Golden Sites, and Uber. So Sarkita, can you please tell us more about yourself? Um, like you have covered almost everything except that, like I am interested. Um. I am interested in bio, and I have done a project uh, under Pro- Professor Pralay Mitra in bioinformatics. And like I am into, I am exploring deep learning, machine learning, artificial intelligence. Um, my hobbies are dancing. I have a senior diploma in Bharat Natyam, and I am part of my dance society, of my college dance society. Yeah. So guys, this is another another video in the series of internship. Our other videos are already up. And in this video, we are going to discuss about what was the interview process of Google, what was the experience of interview rounds, and experience of Microsoft interview. And she was also shortlisted for Disho, so we will be discussing about Disho experience. And finally, we will do some tips and tricks for juniors. So moving forward, Ashish, can okay, you tell us what was the interview process of Google? So basically, uh, we had like three rounds. The first was a shortlist round, a uh, coding test. and after that we had two personal interviews and yeah basically that is what uh, that is the google interview process so yeah and then also can you yeah. tell us a little bit more about your online round yeah so basically a uh, google online round is like uh, i think we we were given two questions and we ha- both of them were about algorithms so like for me i think i got one question which was related to dp and another question uh, was related to graphs so um like i could solve one question and the second question i could not uh, completely solve like only a few test cases could i could uh, only a few test cases uh, i could solve so yeah And moving towards the interview experience, uh, how was the experience of the first round? Okay, so my first round was with uh, with one of the senior members of Google. So the questions were focused on. Uh, I think I got I got one question, and I had they expected me to solve it in forty minutes. Uh, the question was a simple uh, one. Uh, it was basically about DP and R DP and Rs. and i found the que- i found that the question was uh, quite easy so uh, like i could solve it in, like i could solve it within the 15 minutes after which we discussed uh, like by by like trying it out on a few test cases and all and i think the interviewer appreciated uh, how i had used ternary operators instead of um, instead of using if else so i think uh, that was one point that he himself mentioned that uh, i like how you how you wrote the code so i think that is also very important while giving interviews and i think it is uh, and uh, the second thing was about interaction uh, so everything that uh, i was thinking in the interview about solving the questions i was uh continuously telling it to the interviewer so that uh, he could understand what my thought process was and for google specially they share us a doc and they expect us to write whatever we say on that doc coding question the code itself and also if uh, if we are drawing something to explain or writing a test case to explain how it works they expect us to write that in the doc And yeah. How was the experience of the second round? Um, the second round, uh, the I got a t- comparatively uh, trickier question. So, like the interview, the interview started like a started uh, five minutes late, and after that, uh, 
they gave us a question uh, this question was related to un- arrays and like interval sorting and merging intervals so i did the uh, i did i did the question and i uh, explained the interview of, uh, what my thought process was after that which they after which they like asked what the time complexity the space complexity of the solution was but uh, i had like missed one of the cornered cases so the interviewer pointed out that maybe this will miss so uh, i got a bit nervous about that and um, so like um, like out of 40 minutes i think 30 minutes were already done so uh, the so i quickly uh, told how to uh, how we could avoid that cornered case and but i did not have the time to write it out so i explained uh, explained the interview of that uh, particular code uh, and she asked the time complexity of that solution and i just wrote uh, wrote it in wrote it in words and instead of coding i wrote it in words yeah yeah um so for microsoft uh, we had one shortlist coding shortlist round and after that we had three rounds so um the coding the coding round was similar to all in uh, similar to any other coding uh, round uh, we had to solve like three questions uh, we had three hours and the questions were very easy so yeah uh, for the th- uh, the interview rounds i think uh, for me the first two rounds were uh, code first two rounds were coding rounds um, and the questions uh, were easy the last one uh, was a bit different uh, uh, basically it w- ex- uh, they wanted it was a so- they were testing if uh, i could actually develop a software if i uh, am interested in that so uh, they they first asked if i uh, if i want to become a software uh, if i want to become a software engineer to me- and just a general um, general get to know each other and all and then they asked me uh, to design a railway system so uh, basically they did not expect me to ra- expect me to code anything they just wanted uh, like how will you design the data structure and how what algorithms will you use so yeah like they did not expect any code for it so this was a little bit something that i mean you also told that you got the shop when you can share some experience of what you think um so uh, for the issue um like the i had two rounds the first round uh, was a coding first round was again a coding round um, like they asked i think they asked a few questions about arrays and as such and the and uh, they focused a lot on oops uh, instead like uh, the other interviews that i had given uh, were focused on data structures and algorithm just on the other hand focused more on object oriented programming so after that i was uh, shortlisted for the second interview round uh, for the second interview round however uh, they focused a lot on co- coa os compilers and uh, these things uh, which i hadn't prepared for and i hadn't covered in my course till second year so i was not able to answer that so i think preparing that uh, for the isha interview is a is a must and i would <laughs> remember it next time yeah so the project of presentation that we and the movie project the movie thing that can be a junior to project of presentation um okay uh i think the first thing during interview is uh, to keep ca- uh, keep calm and like not get nervous um like i think the for me in general i felt that the interviews were nice and um they wanted they made us comfortable they did not like and they wanted us to like not feel the pressure and actually like relax so that we could like perform our best so yeah the first thing is to uh, be calm because many people get nervous and then we can't actually communicate nicely and tell what is required other than that um for i think uh, the second important thing is to prepare yourself so um 
first uh, for preparation for coding uh, prepare, for coding like i did interview bit and i solved a lot of questions from gfg um w- the one thing that i did not do was uh, pra- uh, practice giving timed interviews uh, so that was something uh, which was difficult for me when i was giving my coding test so i could not understand how to give the questions like if you can't solve a question then at, uh, if you can't get the uh, optimum solution you should like try giving at least the brute force solution or try passing a few test cases by like hard coding uh, your solution so this thing i did not realize uh, while when i was giving my coding uh, coding rounds and like i learned it while giving them so i think that is one thing uh, everyone should practice like giving timed interview questions so that they don't they don't face this difficulty other than that um i there you i think you should practice uh, a few questions for probability statistics and like prepare prepare for uh, things like os coa compilers if you have time um and yeah i guess that's it and one more thing guys if you are a fan of subscribing here subscribe to the channel you can watch our videos like this and watch our videos like this